Hey everyone, this is Wei and uh, welcome back. Now for this video, I'm going to be drawing uh, Baymax from the movie Big Hero 6. I'll be drawing two versions of him and the first one will be without his armor, which is very simple. And then I'll be drawing the one with the armor, which is uh, much more complex. But actually it's quite simple as well because once you break down the forms, it's actually pretty easy to draw. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, so let's draw Baymax here. And so when you look at a shape like this, you can see this overall just kind of like an egg shape. And then also like the body is also like an egg shape. So I'm going to start out with the body. And then from there, I'm going to um, draw the rest using the body as like your major reference po uh, point. So this is going to be like an overall like an egg shape. And now since this is symmetrical, you can help yourself by um, just drawing like a little you know, center line so that you know you know you have ha you basically have more reference point to work with. All right, so from here, um, let's see that I'm, I'm going to do the arms first because they're a lot bigger than the head. So I'm going to come down a little bit and you can draw this basically this big clump and you got to see how far it goes down, right? So you measure from here like you know his crotch area right here. His arm is right around here, so you know it's, it's probably going to be ending around there somewhere. So, from that, I'm just going to draw my clump. A little clump here, and I'm going to ignore the fingers for now, and just, just try to see this shape. And it's the same methodology that you want to use, you know, when you're drawing. It's just start out with the big shape first, and then, you know, work your way down to the, to the smaller details. Okay, so I'm going to do that, then here. Here, and then I'm going to do the legs, which is another clump, which is really simple. Okay, so you see how I drew the left side first, um, because it is symmetrical. So now once I have the left side, now I can actually go in and just kind of measure like this, and just do the rest, you know, do the right side, to kind of measure how far it goes down. And again, I'm going to draw that little clump again for the, for the hands. And then here, this one, clump. Okay, and then from there, let's see the head. It's a little, little bit of angle. It's just gonna go a little oval. So that's basically it, right? I mean, just just with this, a few clumps here and there, and you pretty much have the overall shape. So now, you know, we can go into a little bit of detail, let's say. All right, the eyes, this is pretty simple. Just kind of do a little dot and a line. So now we can go into the, the fingers, right? So now we just kind of follow, you know, these kind of shapes. A little finger shape here. A little one on the back, and then there's the thumb. Okay. And then on this side as well. I'll draw the... Let's see, let's draw this one first. And then a thumb. So that pretty much is Baymax. And a little detail here. And then let's see, it looks like this has got some some pattern going on right here. Little shoulder pads. Or uh, Elbow pads, I mean, and then here, here, and here. So this is pretty straightforward, right? I mean, it's just um, very basic shapes, but it's actually very good practice. And and this is actually a very good um, example just to show, you know, like very primitive geometry, you know, primitive forms. And it's really good practice for drawing because everything really starts with prim primitive forms and it just progressively gets more and more complex. So right now I'm just kind of outlining it a little bit. So let's just shade this in. Now again, I'm working in Photoshop and if you're working with pencil, it's pretty much the same, same methodology. And here I'm using a pencil brush just to try to simulate the, the pencil look a little bit. So this would be just your regular shading if you're using a pencil. Shadow. 
And then you can actually do some shadowing here, you know, just to give it some more form, right? Because this thing is like a very bulbous. You want to, you, if you want to make it feel round, you have to, to shade it. And you don't need a lot, it's just a little bit just to hint. Like right here, you know, you can see this big shadow area right here. So I'm just going to do that. Maybe a little bit of cross hatching. And here, right here, is pretty dark. And just a little bit of shading really helps. Yeah, you know, just give it some form. Now, again, my strokes are pretty wide, and that's just because of time constraints. I don't want to take too long in sketching, like all the little fine details and shading. So, like the head right here is pretty important to make dark um, because that's going to pop out the head. A little nice little dark crease. And I have this, I can probably erase that out. And if you're sketching, you know, you just, you just, you can just re, you know, erase with some of those guidelines when you're, when you're first um, sketching out the rough forms. Or you can just leave it there. I mean, it's okay. It's more important that you actually draw this thing than to try to make it look clean. Okay, so that's it for this Baymax. Um, again, very simple form, and uh, let's move on to his armor, which will be a much bigger challenge than this. All right, so here is Baymax with the armor, and you can see this is gonna be a lot more of a challenge, right? But let's break it down, uh, and you can see that it's actually quite simple. So when you look at this, let's just break it down into like, um, you know, major body parts. So if I draw the body, it's just kind of like this, just one big clump. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to draw the arm, another big clump, and then here's the uh, forearm, including the fist, another big clump, and then here, I'm going to draw another big clump for his arm, and then again, his, his arm, including the fist, that's another clump, and then here is his leg, that's one big clump, and then a smaller one at the bottom, and then another one here, and then another one here, and then his head. So you, you can see how simple you know his shapes really are, and it gets a little scary at the beginning is because when you see all these little details, you're like, oh my god, how do you draw that, right? But what you want to do is just kind of simplify it, just break it down, and then draw those in first, and then we'll worry about the details later. One thing to look out for is that this one has uh, quite a perspective to it. You see how his shoulder slants up? So you want to draw like maybe like a little line like this, just so you know that you know that's like the perspective line. And you can see his legs right here, so it's going down this way. So if you draw two, li two lines like that, it'll give you like the overall perspective. So like in the middle, you know that you know a line would be like this, all right? So you know this is just like some really basic perspective stuff, but it's uh, it's important to take notice of it, um, or else you know your your figure will be out of um, out of perspective. All right, so like from this, now that we have these big clumps, and you know it might be off, but let's just go with it, and we're gonna start off with the uh, the center, okay, with the, with this torso. So we can draw, we can actually draw like a little center line here. See, that's his center line. So we can identify the center line. Just kind of draw something like this. And then from there, let's just start, you know, cutting in this, these big shapes right here. So I'm going to cut in like this, kind of come straight down. All right, I'm just going to rough it up. So see this angle right here, which is this. And you see how I'm overlapping? I'm, I'm actually going through his arm. It's okay, you know, you, you don't want to confine yourself so much because I'm not even sure if, you know, this, this arm placement is correct. So as long as you get these kind of um, guidelines right here, you know, that's, that's the important thing. So from here, let's just clean it up a little bit. His body and then his underwear, a little slant in here. And you see his underli underwear line right here is actually an angle, you know. Here's his waist. So again, these are just very rough guidelines. I'll try to correct them as I'm working as well. But the important thing is just, just 
you know, just go at it. You know, don't be too careful with things. Here's his body. Again, here's the little perspective line, which is very important. Okay, so now we have um, basically his body, his torso. So let's go to the arm. Um, so if we were to do this, you know, we can we can find that little shape in here somewhere, right? Like a little biceps right there. And then you can draw like the little cap right here, a little pad on the top. Just kind of covers it like that. And then here's his forearm. Now, now we can, now we have this, right? Now we can cut up the uh, little forearm here, just one big shape. And notice this angle right here, you know, because it is in perspective. It's kind of like that. See, if I, if I just draw the back, it would be like that, right? And it's actually okay. You can actually go all the way around and because it's, it reminds you of the perspective. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to just draw this. And then the, the fist. Now, these little fingers and stuff is a lot of detail, so I'm just going to skip it. I'm just going to draw a big clump like that. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to work on this side of the arm first. I don't want to, like, um, just in case, you know, something is really off, that I need to correct it somehow. So, again, I'm going to identify this shape right here, this little bicep. So, it's probably right somewhere around here. Now, if you're drawing this and you're knowing, um, you're finding out that your 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 proportions are off and things like that, and you know, don't worry about it too much because it's you just kind of get more accurate every time you draw. And some of you could probably spot some of my errors already because you know it's it's not all that accurate. But um, let's okay, let's go to the, let's see the arm, the biceps, and let's do the pads. Just let's. Do, do a clump here. Let's just show the pad. Now notice the you know these kind of arcs. Again, it's just to show the round forms. And here's the arm. And let's let's find that forearm. Okay, and then here's the little sh shielding here. And then again, um, the fingers. I'm just gonna skip for now. And let's move on to the legs. Now this thing comes up. Now this is pretty much still a cylinder, so it should be relatively simple. Now notice this too, okay? This is kind of going this way. Again, showing you that it is kind of going away from you. Like that. Little knee here, right there, and then here. Just, and this is pretty simple, right? Just kind of follow the shape. And then there. I know, there, I know there's a foot in there somewhere, but again, you can almost you know forget about that until later. Okay, let's do the other leg. Clump. So here's where the perspective line uh, helps, right? So you can you can check it to see, okay, like, you know, is my proportions correct? So that's why having these kind of perspective line will help. Okay, so let's continue on. Here's the knee. I'm just going to follow the curvature. Kind of goes up. Here's a leg. Here's a foot. All right, let's just skip those little details for now. All right, let's go back to the head. And you know that I'm doing the head pretty late in the game, and that's because, again, the head is relatively small compared to everything else. So that's why um, I end up doing the head last, because it's just small. You know, you want to work on the small stuff later. Okay, so this kind of shape. Now, in order to help you, you can actually divide, uh, define the center line. You know, you can have little center line so that you know that's the center. Like this, and now here's the perspective line that's going to help you. Right? So if you have a line like that, you know the ear is going to be right around there, like the tip of the ear. Here's the eye. Okay, so pretty much that is the overall shape, and again, I'm, I'm spotting errors already. You can see where this is right here. It should be a, lot, a little bit lower, and you know now's the time you can actually go in and uh, you know fix up some of the shapes. But um, I'm just gonna skip that for now. So I'm just gonna continue on with the details. Now I can work on you know like you see these little um, detailed areas, and now I can actually work on to the hands little fingers, and the fingers are actually pretty complex. It's probably the most complex part of, a, of this character because it's because of all the joints. But it's just basically all, you know, um, rectangles. 
and mechanical stuff. So here now you can, you can you can correct some of that and you can see some of these there's actually another line in there and seriously I didn't even notice that at the beginning and which is okay because you know that's what you want to do you just want to see the big forms so now this is dark okay so now I'm gonna move on to the other one here's a show a little armpit here it's a little dark triangle okay. And here is a little joint there. Now this kind of stuff, um, it's a little harder to do because if you, you really have to understand, you know, basic geometric shapes. So this is like a cylinder. Um, good way to do draw this stuff is just kind of go like this. You can actually, you know, do two cylinders like that and just connect the lines. And if you erase out the inside, you pretty much have a really nice cylinder. And the reason you want to draw all the way around is because this is, because if you don't, you might not get this curvature right here correct. It's a little tricky, but um, you get used to it. Just takes a little bit more practice. And again, you can see these lines right here, right? I mean, those are actually pretty important because it shows you that the shape is round. Okay, so let's move on to the hand. It's a little circle here now his fingers okay so this one you see a little block right there so you can actually just do a block like that that's a little fingers bending down here's a circle 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 his knuckles down okay so I know this is pretty rough but you know it actually takes a little while if, we were, if I were to draw everything clean because of what the amount of details but um, the details are not hard you know once you have this basic shape it's just a matter of going in and and you know cleaning things up and it's really good practice because the more you do this kind of stuff it's just it trains your eye you know and every time you see something you're gonna be able to identify the shapes a lot better so you can see I'm pretty off right like on the head my head is just way too big now So I'll just leave that as is, and here's those little details here. So like here, it, it comes in, you know, it's a little bump. Um, to draw things like that, just go ahead and draw the whole line first, you know. Again, it's just big forms first, and then you can do a little bump in here, and then you just follow that line. Okay. There's that. There's this. Here's the leg. It's a little more detail. You have the knee and the foot, a little darker. This is a, actually it's pretty cool robot design. It's very anime. This leg. Oh, it's got some detail here, some lines. Almost like much muscular lines here, block, and curvature, and then looks like there's another arc in here, and then his foot. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, Again, if you're drawing with pencil, you know, you just kind of keep going more and more detail and you might even want to erase some of the guidelines. Or you can just leave it there. So that's basically it. And let's see, let's add in some shading. Always helps to define the shape a little bit more. Oh, we have totally forgot about the underwear line here. That, that. Okay, so I'm not going to do too many of this, this shading because it's rather repetitive. But if you were to do it in pencil, you know, that's what you would do, be doing, just kind of cross-hatching. 
So there you have Baymax with his armor. Alright, so that's it for this video and uh, thanks for watching. Please do help me uh, like and share this video with your friends and uh, I will see you next time.